Okay, today I'm going to show you all the possible fixes for the Ultra error for the Xbox 360. A very common error and a very annoying error at that. So I'm going to show you all the possible fixes and which are most important because a lot of YouTube videos that are on there right now are pretty annoying and they don't actually show you what's most important. People are just standing there doing this, doing that and end up making things worse. Alright, as you can see, open tray error, piece of crap. Uh, this is my friend's Xbox, so as you can hear, it spins once, stops, sorry, doesn't read the disc. Don't know why, just piece of crap. Alright, first of all, let's say that my Xbox is open and my DVD drive's open, so if you don't know how to open the DVD or the Xbox, I want to say right now, Look at the other millions of YouTube videos on the internet, they'll show you how to do it. I can make a tutorial if you want, message me, I can tutorial how to open up an Xbox. But it's fairly simple. And here we have the magnet, which makes the disc go round. Without the magnet, the DVD drive will have to be put together, which can be really annoying when you want to test fixes. Now just peel off the label of your DVD drive, and the metal magnet will be there, and just twist it with the black or grey that's underneath and it'll just pop right off. That way you can test your fixes one then the other without having to mess around. All right. Let's have a look here. The first thing we're going to sort out is the laser right here. Now this is important. When cleaning this use alcohol. Not vodka, Jack Daniels, don't be pouring your good old fucking bourbon on there. What you want to do is rub an alcohol Q-tip, um, then just rub it in a circular motion, leave it out to dry a little bit, and that's it. Then, after you've done that, put the disc back, put it back in, connect it up with the wires, put the disc back on top, test it. Alright, test it. Because you don't want to be doing the other fixes if your problem is just a dirty laser. So test it, if it still doesn't read it, then move on. Secondly, if you always, when you do open your DVD drive, if you find the lasers right at the very end, then it can be a problem because it's going too far. As you can see, I'll put the game on. The laser itself will miss the disc, which means when it tries to read the disc, it'll run to the end and then stop because it can no longer read it. The laser will go past it. Now, to fix this, move this to around here. Put a rubber band, some plastic or something like that just to stop it from moving any further. Again, then test it. These are the most important because cleaning your laser isn't going to break your disc at all. Doing that, if it's not right at the end, if that hasn't fixed it, then the chances are if it's not right at the end, that won't be a problem. So you'd, I wouldn't bother doing that anyway. But if that doesn't work, I suggest taking the rubber plastic back off because you don't want to be adding stuff you don't need to. So just put it on temporary, test it. it doesn't work take it off. You don't want to be putting stuff in your DVD drive that doesn't need to be there if it's not helping anything. Now this bit, this bit's most important. As you can see you've got the two screws just down from the laser on the opposite side to where your disc spins. Now you've got the left screw here, which I'm pointing at a nice pause sexy screen for you when I edit it hopefully. These kind of adjust how high the laser are and how much voltage the laser gets and things like that. So it's very important that if this doesn't fix anything, put them back. So you need to, you need to kind of get an approximation of where you were. So what you want to do is turn the left screw a quarter turn to the left with a regular Phillips screwdriver. Just quarter turn to the left. Test it. If that doesn't work do it another quarter turn to the left, so that's two quarters to the left. Still doesn't work, go for a third. Now if you've done about four quarter turns to the left, the chances are that isn't your problem. Well, it might be your problem, but it's not your left screw, so turn it right back to where you were, four quarter turns to the right. So it's back in a pretty much the same position. Now do the same with the right screw, and then you want to alternate, so do do exactly the same with the right screw, if it doesn't work, have it back in exactly the same position so you're back at default. Then turn the left screw again, this is complicated, one turn to the left, which we know doesn't work, 
and the right screw one turn to the left. You know what I mean? Now, just do a few combinations. The chances are, after four turns, either way, then this isn't your problem. So just keep in mind, whatever you do, and just one go left, the other go left. Doesn't work. Left again, left again. Doesn't work. Then turn back right twice because you've gone left twice. So you, you always want to finish where you started because that's not your problem. You don't want to be messing about with that shit. So once that's done, and I shouldn't be done... That bit will be quite annoying. It's important, but it's incredibly annoying. But like I said, just fix it. You know, it will, it'll fix it. If it doesn't, put it back. You don't want to mess around with these screws. They will fuck you up. All right. So that's not your problem. Another fix going around. Take off your motherboard. The little board connected. There's two little screws and just clip this off. Very expansion, I'll take it off. There's, there's only a screw and a little clip. Slide it off. There we go. There we go. Right. Now, you've got a screw there. We've got a screw. At least we've got two screws. Left and right. As you can see, the blue kind of rubbery bits is starting to wear off. So they kind of, the amount the screws plugged in can change, and there's a third screw at the top as well, which is here. Now what these do is these three screws essentially keep keep the laser straight. So if the laser isn't straight, then it won't read your disc, so you want the laser to be level. So mess around with these a little bit. Again, try and keep in mind what you've done-ish. If, the, if the, everything else hasn't worked, and this doesn't work, you fucked. Um, try and keep in mind. Keep it, keep it straight. Faff around with it. Just basically doing stuff like that. So I'd suggest tighten it and then not tighten it. Uh, you just try and get them level, basically. The screws themselves won't be level. One will be slightly higher than the other. It's the two bars, the metal bars that you want to be level once the disc slide is pushed in. Because remember, once the slide goes in, it'll raise up a little bit, so you want the two metal bars to be level. Now, the obvious moment, which I forgot, which you could probably do first, but this is self-explanatory. All the cables, make sure the cables, this cable here, all the cables are pushed in correctly. You know, you'd be surprised how often that happens. Now we have another one. This fix is for people who the bit that spins the disc around if it's stiff doesn't work very well then unscrew the bottom there's three little screws at the bottom there you'll see them easy take it out take it out the bottom the two bigger holes put a little bit of WD-40 in there now it's got to be some sort of product like WD-40 a product that's a lubricant but don't use something like olive oil or something like that because that can cause buildup little bit of lubricant, screw it back down, turn it upside down for a while so it can work it, spin it, get it all lubricated up, if that's your problem. But that's usually if the disc isn't spinning at all, that'll be your main problem. Now, there we go. Right, let me try these, and we'll see what we can do. I'll let you know what the outcome is in a minute. Alright, so... For me, I've tested it, and it appears the problem for me was actually slightly unlevel. So it's, 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 I've been doing it about 40 minutes, half an hour. Which is, uh, first of all, I cleaned it, and then I just the voltage a little bit, put it back to where it was, because that clearly wasn't the problem. Changed the levels. I mean, it can be multiple things. These are all the fixes. So what you want to do and what audio you want to do is completely up to you, but keep it in mind. All right, as you can see, spinning away. Now it's working. Now, obviously, I'm not responsible for you smashing your Xbox in. Don't smack your Xbox on the top. There's, in, there's videos out there that tells you to smack you it on top. It won't work. If you do have to replace your DVD drive, you can't just buy a DVD drive. 
what you've got to do is figure out what DVD drive you've got. It'll tell you on the sticker, Samsung, BenQ, whatever. You can buy exactly the same DVD drive, but you'll have to take your motherboard out and replace each of the motherboards. You know, the little bit, the green bit we clipped off, just clip the little cables out of it and just switch them around and then it'll work. If it's a different DVD drive, you'll have to attach the computer and get a key for it. And it is not easy. If you don't know how to soft mod or anything like that, it can be a big pain in the ass. Basically, your DVD drive is linked to your motherboard. So unless you can get the key for it, you can't change it. So either buy the same DVD drive and switch the motherboards over, unless the motherboard is your problem. If your motherboard's broke, then... Unless you want to get a new DVD drive and get the key drive, I suggest just selling it for scrap and getting another one. But it's up to you. I hope it helped. Any questions, any other tutorials you want me to bring or make it more clear, then just let me know. Don't forget to like the video. I always do with a good subscribe now and then. And enjoy. Don't forget to get gaming, bitches.